Hi guys, we have another video today. Today's video is going to be about the BMW E30 generation. So the very popular E30 generation was released after the E28 and before the E36. Um, a lot of people, when you look at an E30, it's kind of like what the quintessential BMW looks like, if you will. And that's because it has a lot of the styling cues that we see in BMWs today actually came from originally things like the dual headlights or the grills in the front or even just the interior layout changed a lot to the e30 compared to the 28 when you look at an e28 actually it's very it doesn't feel bmw it almost feels like a mercedes to be honest because the 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 driver layout is not very driver oriented no, the cock the cockpit excuse me but once you switched over to the E30 generation, they started turning the entire dashboard and all the radio, aircon units, and everything like that to start to face the driver, which made it a lot more driver-oriented compared to the E28 generation. But once the E36 came out, it kind of just took off from what the E30 was before, so you don't see a lot of changes from there. The E30 features a lot of engines, some four cylinders, some six cylinders. Um, and the six cylinder was one of the last, last uh, original naturally aspirated straight six engines. I mean, you still have a throttle body cable that when you push the accelerator, it's still connected to a little cable that pulls the linkage. It, it, it's really uh, almost a classic car compared to the E36 and the E46. Not a lot of technology. The way to go on the E30 is usually the 325, which can features the M20 straight six, which is a very famous engine and doesn't really have that many issues if you're there well maintained. And the issues it does have can be easily fixed by anyone with some basic hand skills. Um, definitely also in the same nature of wanting to get the 325 it's also probably pretty recommended to get the five-speed manual over the automatic which i believe is a four-speed which uh, in my previous videos i've talked about the e46 and the e46 has a slush box and that's a five-speed much more modern transmission so you know the e30 is going to be a lot more slushier anyway the e30 is a great car i'm actually looking for one right now and if you're looking to get something more of a classic car, the E30 is definitely a little more interesting. Thank you for watching.